All right, number five, we're given this triangle and we're asked to find the secant of theta. We're not actually uh, asked to find theta, we're just gonna find the secant of theta. Um, secant is the reciprocal of the cosine. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. So we need the hypotenuse divided by the uh, adjacent side. But we don't know the hypotenuse, so we're gonna have to figure that out first. All right, so let's call this, uh, since it's the hypotenuse, let's go ahead and call it C, because in our Pythagorean theorem, we. Uh, we usually call the hypotenuse C for some reason. So um, Pythagorean theorem says that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So 11 squared plus uh, 6 squared of 14 squared. So 11 squared is 121. And then 6 times the square root of 14 squared. If you plug this into the calculator, make sure that you put those parentheses around there. Otherwise, if you just put 6 squared of 14 squared, your calculator is going to know to do the order of operations. It's going to square this first and then multiply by 6 without ever squaring the 6. That's not what we want. We want to square this whole thing. All right, so 6 squared is 36. Square root of 14 squared is 14. And then 36 times 14 is... 504. So now uh, c squared is equal to 121 plus 504, which is 625. Take the square root of both of those, and we get c is equal to uh, plus or minus 25. But of course, we know that this length isn't negative 25. So uh, c is 25. So let's go ahead and put our 25 there. And then we can find the secant. Uh, sorry, the secant of theta is going to be equal to the adjacent, the length of the, sorry, the length of the hypotenuse divided by the length of the adjacent side, so 25 over 11, and that's our answer.